Let's be real for a second. Everywhere you go online, it's the same fight. Blender versus Cinema 4D. One side says, why pay when Blender is free? The other says Cinema 4D is the industry standard. But here's the truth nobody says out loud. Most people arguing online haven't actually used both seriously. Today, I'm cutting through the noise and showing you the real, uncomfortable truth about both tools. So you don't waste years learning the wrong thing for the wrong reason. And by the end of this video, you'll know which one actually fits your future, not just what Twitter says. By the end of this video, you'll understand what Blender is truly better at, where Cinema 4D still dominates, and which software will put you in the best position to make money in 2026 and beyond. No brand loyalty, no fanboy takes, just raw truth. Most people think this debate is free versus expensive. It's not. The real difference is much deeper, and it has nothing to do with Blender being free. Let's start with what people get completely wrong. Truth number one, these tools are built for different worlds. Here's the first uncomfortable truth. Blender and Cinema 4D were never designed to serve the same type of artist. Blender is a multi-tool army knife. Animation, simulation, sculpting, modeling, rendering, scripting. Everything in one place. Blender is strong in high poly sculpting, detailed character animation with Rigify, and general purpose VFX. It offers a powerful node-based system, geometry nodes, for procedural effects, but these can be more complex to set up. Blender also supports comprehensive sculpt to read apology workflows and extensive free add-ons, thanks to its open source ecosystem. Blender provides a deeper rigging and animation tool set with its graph editor and facial rigging, plus a unique 2D animation capability within a 3D environment through Grease Pencil. Blender is dominant among indie creators, freelancers, and smaller studios because of its free access and flexible pipelines, including good integration with tools like Houdini and Nuke. Cinema 4D maintains a stronghold in larger agencies and commercial pipelines, notably with seamless integration in Adobe After Effects and Card or ArchViz workflows through Datasmith. Cinema 4D is a motion design specialist, built for speed, broadcast graphics, and clean workflows. Deeply integrated with After Effects, Blender is about power and freedom. Cinema 4D is about speed and polish. Cinema 4D shines with its elegant UI and ease of use, particularly in motion graphics, thanks to its MoGraph module, effector system, and real-time viewport feedback. It has strong commercial-grade plugins like X-Particles and Turbulence FD for specialized simulations. Cinema 4D clean procedural array and spline workflows make it the industry standard for broadcast and marketing animations. Cinema 4D delivers a more stable and streamlined animation workflow, favored by character animators and motion designers who prefer slider-based adjustments over node graphs. Both tools produce top-quality photorealistic or stylized renders. Blender Cycles Renderer is highly capable and free while Cinema 4D often pairs with powerful commercial renderers, such as Redshift and Physical Renderer for faster previews and easier material tweaking. In summary, Blender is suited for versatile, in-depth 3D projects and artists who want a powerful, budget-friendly environment with community-driven tools. Cinema 4D is designed for high-end motion graphics, procedural animation, and studios wanting a polished, user-friendly tool with robust commercial support. Choosing between them depends on your creative focus. Sculpting and multifaceted 3D workflows lean Blender, while motion design and procedural animation workflows lean Cinema 4D. So when people say, which is better? The real answer is, better for what? But this still doesn't explain why Blender exploded so fast. One of these tools gives you freedom. The other gives you comfort. Both come with a price most beginners don't see. Let's talk about that trade-off. Truth number two, Blender gives power. Cinema 4D gives comfort. Blender, fully customizable, open source, unlimited control, constant updates, community-made tools. Blender empowers users through full customizability, open source access, unlimited control, constant updates, and community tools, 
But these strengths come with trade-offs like a steep learning curve and performance issues in complex scenes. The interface feels clunky for newcomers, relying heavily on shortcuts that demand muscle memory, with some criticized as inefficient or changeable only by add-ons. Snapping lacks universality, forcing toggles between vertices, edges, or faces instead of simultaneous options. Origin relocation and dope sheet controls suffer from inconsistent logic, frustrating workflows. High poly meshes cause slowdowns in edit mode more than sculpt mode, limiting VFX used compared to Maya or Houdini. Physics and simulation engines remain outdated, unsuitable for advanced fluids or dynamics without external tools. While community contributions drive rapid updates and add-ons, they create internal disorganization, like missing features in hair shaders or drag-and-drop animation properties. Huge scenes lag in viewport performance, and collaboration tools fall short for teams. But the cost is steep learning curve, messy workflows at first, less hand-holding. Blender's interface requires memorizing hotkeys, unlearning habits from other apps, and discovering hidden tools, making basics accessible but expertise a long grind. New users face frustration relearning after breaks, unlike more intuitive apps like SketchUp for simple tasks. Prior 3D experience eases entry, but newcomers quit due to slow rewards. Early workflows feel chaotic, toggling modes, object slash edit, hunting features, and fixing broken scenes without guided paths. Advanced techniques like modifiers, UV unwrapping, and rigging add layers before clean results emerge. Custom UI tweaks help long-term, but starters battle sporadic layouts. Blender skips polished onboarding. Tutorials focus on clicks over Y, leaving navigation to trial and error or communities. No built-in wizards or tooltips match commercial software. Reliance on forums and YouTube fills gaps. This builds deeper control eventually, rewarding persistence. Cinema 4D earns praise for its clean UI, predictable workflows, built-in motion presets, and industry-polished tools, which make it a favorite for motion graphics and 3D animation pros seeking efficiency over steep learning curves like Blender's. These strengths stem from its intuitive, customizable interface that reduces overwhelm for beginners while allowing experts to streamline layouts and access quick presets. The interface stays neat and structured, prioritizing visual feedback and easy navigation without clutter. Users customize panels and shortcuts to match workflows, boosting speed on varied hardware. Procedural tools like MoGraph enable non-destructive edits and complex effects with minimal hassle. Features such as auto key framing and parameter linking keep processes reliable and artist-friendly. MoGraph offers ready cloners, effectors, and curve presets, example, bounce, elastic, for fast animations. Save custom setups in the preset library for one-click reuse, saving hours on repeats. Tools integrate seamlessly with After Effects via Cineware and support pro renderers for broadcast quality output. This polish suits motion design studios, handling everything from graphics to VFX reliably. But the cost is heavy subscriptions, locked ecosystem, less deep control outside motion design. So the question becomes, do you want creative power or production comfort? Most beginners never ask this question, and that's why many of them restart their 3D journey three times. But now let's talk about the one thing nobody wants to admit. People love talking about features, but professionals care about one thing, which one actually pays more in the real world. Here's the truth. Truth number three, both pay, but in completely different markets. Blender makes money in freelancing, indie game dev, YouTube and content creation, asset stores, product visualization, small studios and startups, cinema 4D dominates in, motion graphics, advertising agencies, broadcast TV, brand commercial work, high budget marketing. So if your dream is YouTube animation, games, freelancing online, Blender is perfect. If your dream is advertising, TV graphics, corporate motion design, Cinema 4D still has the edge. Most people fail because they learn the wrong tool for the job they actually want. 
Here's the trap that silently destroys 3D careers. People chase industry standard instead of industry demand. Let's unpack that. Truth number four. Industry standard is a moving target. Ten years ago, Autodesk ruled everything. Today, Blender is exploding. Cinema 4D owns motion graphics. Game engines are replacing offline rendering. Industry standard changes based on niche. If you blindly chase the standard, you'll always be late. If you chase demand plus opportunity, you'll always be early. This is the mindset shift most beginners never make. Here is the honest answer nobody posts on TikTok. If you have no money for subscriptions, want full freedom, want to explore many 3D careers, want to freelance globally, start with Blender. If you are focused only on motion graphics, plan to work in agencies, want clean, fast production pipelines, Cinema 4D makes sense. And here's the biggest truth. You don't marry your first software. You use it to enter the industry. Skills transfer. I for design transfers. Problem solving transfers. Software does not define your ceiling. Now here's what most pros won't tell beginners. The strongest artists in 2026 won't choose one tool. They'll use a stack. So the real question becomes, when should you add Cinema 4D to your Blender workflow? When does it actually make financial sense? And when is it a waste of money? That's what I'm covering next. If this video finally cleared up the Blender versus Cinema 4D confusion, subscribe. I break down real 3D career decisions without bias. If you're currently learning, comment Blender or C4D so I know where you're starting. See you in the next one.